Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terry and today I have an exciting new video for you guys. Today, we're gonna be talking about what to do when your Facebook ads are not working. And I'm actually gonna clickbait you guys a little bit because we're gonna be focusing more on the creative side. So obviously you guys are like, oh Nick, <laughs> Well, you know, this, this won't be like turn off ads, yada, yada, yada. This is gonna be more specifically what to do when you're the actual ad itself you're creating does not work and how can you improve it in that sense. So that being said, make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And let's jump into this. So Facebook ads not working, try this. Let me give you guys a little quick guide. So here's probably the problem you're experiencing. You're testing ad over ad. You're, you've been listening to Nick. You're like, hey, Nick's been saying go broad. Nick's been saying do creative testing. Let me just do it. And then you go ahead, you start creative testing, and then you just, nothing's converting, okay? And you're like, whoa, what's going on here? And you're just not sure what to create next. You're like, okay, do I do like, like how can I improve these ads? Or, you know, do I different angle, yada, yada, yada. So you're not really sure and you're feeling confused and frustrated, okay? So I basically have three key things right here that's gonna allow you to take an ad that's doing subpar. So let's say it's on like a 1.3, 1.5 extra rush, your goal is a two and a half X. So it's a subpar ad. How can you improve that ad? How can you make that ad more efficient? How can you make it more powerful? So that's what we're gonna focus more on. We wanna focus more on that particular area. So number one is the desire articulated in the creative is not strong enough. So people operate on different desires. You know, right now I have a desire to go get some nice shorts for a bachelor trip I'm taking this weekend in Austin, Texas. Cause we're gonna be walking out, it's gonna be hot and stuff like that. And I wanna look good on the street, you know, talk to a few girls and everything, all that fun stuff right there. Um, I wanna look good, I wanna feel cool cause I know it's gonna be hot outside. So I have a desire to go get these new shorts, right? My desires are shorts and like what's behind the desire as well looking good, feeling good, feeling cool and hot weather, and also looking good for, you know, girls. There you go. So that's a desire I have. That's like my motivation. Motivation and desire work the same way of why I'm gonna purchase these shirts. So if you have the wrong desire, it's one, just gonna be a bad, like it's just, if you're not hitting on that proper desire, then it's not, your ad's not gonna work well. Okay, so here's an example. We had a metal science brand that we focused on the desire of adding a beautiful piece of artwork to the prospect's home. So like, oh, hey, it's metal science. Let's focus on the desire. Of, like people are probably looking right now for like metal art to put in their home, make this beautiful interest in their home when people walk in. Um, so let's focus on that desire. We tested it. We tried a lot of different craves around it, things like that, and it just didn't work. So we took a step back and we figured out, okay, what are other desires that they have? And another one was, giving a perfect gift to their loved one. And I kid you not, like we went from doing like seven, $10,000 a month in revenue to roughly hundred, two hundred $200,000 per month in revenue by folk, by completely swapping around the desire. So if you're going after a weak desire, then your ads are just not gonna be compelling. So that's why this is the number first one. Just really take a step back, look at the desire you're going after, the motivation of why people are purchasing the product and how are you articulating that in the ad? So for example, for our like metal science brand, when we give that perfect gift to a loved one, we hit that desire, but we also articulate in the ad by showing people giving it to their loved one, their loved one reacting to it, loving it, all that stuff, the emotional response behind it. So look at it from that perspective right there, okay? If, like I said, my desire, my motivation for purchasing some shorts right now is to look good, feel good, and basically just look good and feel good. If someone's articulating a desire to me, that's like, hey, I don't know, like, you know, you need these, <laughs> you need these shorts to lounge around in your house. I'm like, well, that's not my desire. My desire is to go walk around the street, look good and feel good. So like, that's one way. If the desire is not completely aligned with their desire, their motivation in the ad, then you're gonna see poor performance on your ads. So next one. People do not believe the claims made inside of the creative. So a claim is essentially like, hey, we run Facebook ads and we get amazing results. That's a claim. But how do people believe that we get amazing results for clients? So here's how we go further into that. So people do not believe the claims made inside of the creative. So we're a Facebook ads agency and we get amazing results for clients. Without proof of these amazing results, then there's a weak claim people do not believe. So if you hop on sales call I me, mean, yeah, we get amazing results. Oh, cool. What, 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 like, what's, what's some, like, what kind of results? Like, just amazing. They're really good. Love, you'll love them. Versus if I show you specific case studies, 
social proof or specific case studies of people going from like twenty thousand dollars a month to hundred grand a month you know going from a two extra rest to three extra rest specifically talking about numbers i'm articulating to you proof if you go look at like uh cleaning commercials um the like from like you know the commercials you see later at night and you'll see like you know they'll spray They'll spray like um, a least superior product on one side and they'll spray their magical product on one side on dirt and you'll see like one side so much faster and it'll, it'll say like clean two times faster. Well, if they just say clean two times faster, that means nothing. But then if they show proof of it by showing a demo, that's a good way right there. Same thing like before and afters with weight loss. Uh, you know, Sarah completely changed her life. Uh, she lost 60 pounds. Well, what does 60 pounds look like on Sarah? And it shows her like, a little overweight and then you show her like ripped in like a beach bot. So like you need to show proof of the claims. Now, this is where it gets fun. You can dramatize the claims as well. So for example, uh, for an ad that one of our clients created it worked really well. It was a guy walking the street and you know, what basically what we did was is a guy walking the street and then he passes up a couple and the, that like meme where like the girl turns around and starts looking at the guy. He turns, she turns around, looks at the guy and he goes and approach him and like, you know, basically like stole her man essentially. And it's just like, you know, these, these t-shirts, <laughs> you'll look amazing in these t-shirts and basically just over dramatizing the claim is another way right there for products that are least, you know, not necessarily problem solving in that sense right there. So the Lamborghini ad I created, I talked about about a week or two ago, I definitely didn't create it, but it talks about a few weeks ago. They put the claims, they, they kind of like make people believe the claims of by just the setting that people put into it, they identify with it and all that fun stuff right there. So there, and that's also gonna go into my next point right there is people do not identify with the creative. So you're hitting the right desire, you're, you're hitting the right, um, you're showing proof of everything. But the last one is people do not identify with the creative. So if you go look at that Lamborghini commercial that I posted, if you literally just go like, look at my YouTube channel, it's it's called um, how to create like luxurious ads or, or ads for luxurious products. I talk about the Lamborghini commercial and you can clearly identify who they are presenting the product to, who they're going after. And it, it basically comes down to you know, the per the actors, the location, the, the images, the products, like all of that, what's inside of the ad right there. You know, if they did a, a Lamborghini ad in like a trailer park, like, you know, very sophisticated people they're going after wouldn't identify with that. Um, just due to like, well, wait, hold up. That's not for me. <laughs> you know, product positioning is huge. So how, like, what's a really good example of this? I got this example from, um, breakthrough advertising and Eugene Swartz. Um, or breakthrough advertising by Eugene Swartz, uh, where he's talking about how there's a deodorant company that had a miserable, miserable marketing fail um, because they launched a line of deodorant specifically aimed for a middle class, um, but all of their imagery was really, really, really like superior wealthy people. And there's a certain level of a jump you want people to make but if it's too big of a jump like they cannot see themselves in that particular area but if it's just a slightly like refined middle class person that's doing well for middle class then all middle class would resemble with that if it was a very very poor class then like they wouldn't do it that's why they wouldn't resemble with that so you got to make sure that your target audience can resemble with your creative again all the imagery in the ad the products the setting the environment the location all of that's super super important uh when you're going at that so yeah so take these three things if you're making your ads more compelling you're actually spending time on this more in creative intensive part of advertising you're going to see better results and <laughs> lastly go broad um again if you haven't seen my video already uh we've eliminated audience testing all that good stuff right there so if our ads are not performing we're focusing on things like this are we articulating a strong enough desire? Are we, you know, can people believe the claims in or making any claims people don't believe? Are people identifying with the creative? Like that's our ways that we're reviewing that creative and trying to see how we can make it more efficient. So, or how we can make it better. In that sense right there. So, but yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope this helps you out with your ads. Again, a lot of people think, oh, Facebook ads not working. Let me go change the account structure. How can you work within account structure and just focusing on what matters? It helps a lot. So thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And yeah, make sure you comment below what was your key takeaway from this video and what you're going to apply to your account itself. Very curious about that. And yeah, if you're making less than or making more than $50,000 per month in revenue with your business, click the link below to book a call with me and my team. 
We'll do a strategy session together. We'll put strategy together for you. You can take it and run with it, or you have the option to work with us if you choose from there. Now, lastly, if you're uh, making less than 50K a month, stay subscribed to the channel because this channel is engineered to make you more money at the end of the day. Um, and essentially, uh, yeah, it's gonna help you out a lot. So uh, we are working on a course for you guys as well. Um, again, it's on the horizon. Um, the objective here is to talk about things like what's in this video specifically, where it's how to become a really good marketer. So that way, as platforms die, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, new platforms arise, you're going to have the foundational mindsets of how to approach all of these, regardless of the platform, because they all use the same tactics. It's just different platforms. So I'm making a video or a course on how to be a great marketer, essentially. And it's made my, you know, it's made me personally 50, over $15 million in revenue for my clients. And yeah, it's also going to show some Facebook ad and TikTok ad stuff in there as well. So that's going to be fun. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nick Terrio. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.